Cool. Who's excited to speak about decisiveness? I guess there couldn't be a more excited person than me personally. Uh, being decisive and why I treat it as the biggest learning point or one of the biggest learning points of 2023, I guess starting off, there will always be costs that you incur when you're making decisions and you're decisive. I guess like you never have perfect information about the decision that you're about to make or take. And at a certain stage, you just must be willing to make decisions without the perfect information. Otherwise you just end up indecisive and without decisions, without yeah, specific decisions that enable you to make progress. So you're just like pushing away the decisions that you know you should take, you need to make in order to get to that next level. But in order to, because you, you just can't find the, like the thing that will really motivate you to actually make the decision or like, you're not forced to make them, then you end up just, just pushing away the things that you know you should be doing, which inevitably ends up biting you in the ass in the long term, because in the end, you just make the decision you know you should have done months earlier. And there has been just like so much time that you can have, could have allocated it in a different way. So decisiveness, I would just summarize it in two, two statements or like two bullet points, which you already can see on the slides, which is like making fast decisions and sticking to them. It's like just just having a certain plan and then sticking to the plan. I guess like that's like if people would just do this, then they could perhaps achieve majority of the things from my point of view. Like if you just have a certain workout plan about how much cardio you're gonna do, how much workouts you're gonna do, how much time you're gonna be spend up spend working out every single month, every single um week, every single day. And just stick to it and how much macros you're gonna how how what are how much color how many calories you're gonna eat every single day what are your macros gonna be and if you're just gonna stick to this for a long enough period of time and actually like the sickness to this plan then you're gonna make a very significant progress with your physique and eventually perhaps even achieve and overshoot all of your goals that you have but the problem here is that most people are, aren't just decisive enough and that they're they're just going to make a decision to not follow their goals at a certain point and then just eventually lead lead them to to following a different path So I would say like really deci being decisive about the things that you're doing and just being unapologetic from a certain point of view that I might, this might be tied into to another topic that I'll probably speak about as well as just like really being conscious about the fact that actually every single decision that you're going to make or take is going to incur a certain cost and there there's always going to be a certain regret that you are going to feel that there isn't just a Like there isn't a way that you can take that will eliminate all the requests that you can feel in terms of, for example, for me right now, and just like being very decisive about the, about the work structure, the work ethic that I adopted and everything that it actually like just completely revamped my life in the last three months. Just significant changes from, from looking at my life in the perspective of the last three years. It's just like being really decisive and making decisions. It's just like, okay, great. I'm, I'm just like experiencing a lot of the success that I've earned in the last two months, even though like two months is a very short time perspective. And I know that if I want to see the fruition of, of majority of the things or the majority of my efforts that I, I'm currently putting in, I'll need to wait another 20 not 20 years, but maybe like the next two, three years that at least like, okay, nothing really, nothing happens unless you put the work in. And just like being decisive in terms of, okay, it's, it's great that I'm making so much progress, but at the same time, it's great. I have a great family. I, I like just really trying to analyze what, what's the meaning of a great family in terms of how, how supportive they are, how kind of, good your upbringing, upbringing was from a certain point of view. Like I just, there isn't a search, there isn't a single thing that I can really point out was somehow, I mean, like there were perhaps things that were not the best for me, but there wasn't a single thing that has happened in my life when I was growing up until the age of 18, 19 or so that would have implied that I wasn't living like a dream life until the age of 18, comparing myself to 
maybe all the other teenagers or kids out there. I, I just like had absolutely everything that I wanted. I just like wasn't living in a financial stress. My parents were young. We were traveling the world. I traveled to so many different countries with my parents. I just like perhaps seen Maldives, Seychelles, Mauritius, just did all these adventures with them. Uh, being to Egypt like 12 times, just trying scuba diving, trying traveling the whole Europe, going to Mexico, just diving in caves there. I mean, like just, I did all of this being with parents. I went to private schools. I went to primary, uh, private primary school, private secondary school, private, private high school. I got qualified into one of the best business universities in Europe. Like it's like the 41st in Europe in terms of just the specific ranking. I'm um, like, just, you have certain programs that are ranked the 10th best in the world as my master's marketing de degree where I got, uh, got accepted to. So, in terms of just this, and even looking at my family, I had like, like my family is the most supportive figure out there. Like my dad is just like, he's, he, he's one of the best. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I, I just can't be more grateful enough. Like just those people root for me down from the bottom. Like they, they just want me to, to succeed at the things I'm, I'm working on. It just, like they, they want me to, they, they, they aren't forcing me to succeed in a certain, certain field. For example, my mom wanted to be me, me to, wanted me to be a dentist, even though she's maybe not super satisfied that I actually chose a different path in my life. And then I'm always trying some, some different kind of weird stuff on social media and marketing and, and everything else. She's like, definitely there are many people who I know who have it way harder in terms of their family being super respectful for, for their decision of career path or, or anything else. And just, just like really drawing crush on them. And I have at the same time one of the best like sisters I could have hoped for. Like she's she's 12, 11. Yeah, she's gonna 12, turn twelve very soon. And it's, just, it's so much freaking fun with her. So it, there like hasn't been a single like just comparing me objectively against all the other people in this in this world. Like like there objectively there can't be a single thing that I can be resentful for to other people. It's just like the grass is going to be always greener. It's the same thing. Like if you just benchmark your expectations that you have, like your life is kind of reflection or even how you feel as like a benchmark of, it's about benchmarking yourself against other people. Like that, that's for sure. Like your happiness. But this was even like, kind of like a thought that I have a few months ago. It's just like, okay, does that mean that if I'm living a life like, like I'm living it right now, another person achieves greater success, that doesn't, does that mean that I'm actually a failure? And I just really rooting it or trying to get to the bottom of the argument here, which is like really the meaning behind this is that does that mean that regardless of what I achieve, if other person achieves something greater, doesn't mean that I'm a failure, which would imply that I would not, I would never feel actually successful and never, yeah, it's kind of like a feeling that you have, which would mean that I would never win the game that I would be playing. And there will always be better people in the world because you can be master of all crafts, even for me, like, I'm going to probably speak, yeah, maybe this size into this topic as well. There's really choosing the games that you're going to play because in the last few years, I just like really tried to win all of the games that I was playing. Like there have been certain people in my surroundings that were, for example, doing fitness. And since I'm doing working out for nine years, I was trying to like, just keep up with the Joneses, Joneses, even though they weren't full out into fitness and sacrificed other early areas of, my, of their life. For example, they don't go to university anymore. They just don't focus on career that much, but they're go, all, going all in, into fitness and just building their physique. I just re, really, even though I just had so much different kind of weird stuff or, on my back in terms of the projects that I was doing, I was still trying to keep up with them in terms of just trying to up level mine and fitness. And I was just like pushing, I was doing PRs in, in the gym, even though I had 35 minutes for the gym every single day, then I worked for 15 hours, slept as much as I could. And I was keeping really good physique. I was trying to win the physique game. And I was like in one of the, I had like pretty much, if you look at the percentage of how many people have six pack and everything else, I was just like pretty much in the top, top percent there. I even like went to the European championships when I was 17, 18. Yeah, I just turned 18 the day I was actually traveling to the European Championships, which happened in Romania. And just really deciding on the games that you're going to be playing. Like that was a big decision for me. And in like October, I just like made the freaking decisions. Like, okay, these are the games that I'm going to be playing. I made the conscious, de conscious decision that I'm just sacrificing fitness. Not in terms of me actually getting back to the worst, worst shape, but I'm just like, I'm going to be working out 
as hard as I can, but I'm just not going to be super obsessed about just trying to be the most rated guy that's out there. And that's essentially what happened. I lost, comparing myself to the last year, I lost something like 12 kilograms, which is, it's like 22 pounds, 20, more than 20, it's like 25 pounds, maybe even more. I, like I, I lost a lot of weight. And last year when I had 25 pounds more, I was still jacked. I had six pack. I was just like super massive. 94 kilos. Now I'm 82. I've been last time that I've been 82 was in like when I was 19 or 18. So there has been a certain regression, but at the same time, I'm just like really trying to optimize myself for the maximum amount of output. But at the same time, I'm just like still jacked. I'm still lifting big weights. I'm going to the gym five to six times a week. I'm just like doing the best that I can. Um, I'm, I'm not like get getting rid of, rid of this part because I just really feel that like it's, I just love that. It's just like a certain thing that I love to do every single day. I just like, like to do go, like to go to the gym and have a great workout. I like the feeling that I feel when I work out and I, I just feel great. It's just a great feeling that I have. And there, I, I don't do it for anyone else. I just like to do it for myself. Like, great. I just worked out. I just win another day and another win that I do so pretty simple so in terms of making decisions just really deciding on the games that you're going to be playing maybe as i also implied in the last few videos just really choosing the games that you're going to be playing and when you choose the game that you're going to be playing then just going freaking all out and just being okay with the kind of regrets that you're going to feel when you're actually making these decisions like the, the, the decision that i made i'm going to be speaking about this in the next video but essentially i just made a decision that i would be pulling 110 hours weeks without a stop until i kind of figure this stuff out that i'm working on and just like getting a bit of traction because i, I just like realized that I'm, i was just like so much so slacking off i was just slacking off so freaking much I know that there are certain costs that I'm incurring, like for example, in terms of relationships, being able to keep up with people, being able to keep up with family. Like I have just such a great family, and at the same time, like I'm making conscious decisions. I'm not actually spending almost any time with them every single month. I just didn't see those people for such a long time, and based on what I'm actually planning to do, I'm, I'm probably not going to see them a lot in the next few months, perhaps even years. And. Like there's this kind of cost that you're occurring and it's just about you that to actually make a conscious decision of actually what you're going to be spending your time on. And it like doesn't feel not that good. It's just like different than you perceived it would feel like. It's like, okay, you, you achieve success, but at a certain point you, you realize that Regardless of how hard you, how hard you try, there is just a certain head and adaptation skill that you won't be able to blast through. It's like, how much, however, like, whatever you try to achieve, like, there is just certain threshold that you aren't able to get past through. It's just like, great, you achieve something, and then I guess I'm not for sure if this also can be like just kind of wrapped up into this topic, like for example, one great example of that was me going to LA. I just throughout some mutual connections and then like just a few things that a few calls that I'd made, I just was able to get like, like just to go and have a look at a few villas in LA, like just those bowler places that uh, were Taylor Swift and but like just all of these big bowler players left for a certain part of their lives. Uh, and, and Beverly Hills and Bel Air and just like looking back at, at LA from, from the hills, like essentially when I was 16 and when I didn't really know what I wanted to do in my life, I guess maybe even 15, I just like kind of made the decision of actually just setting such a big goal for myself that I would be always enticed to actually work on that. And I just like just being and or just owning a place like that was one of the things that I had on my had had on the list. And just like kind of become more congruent with the things and just get a better gist of actually the things that I wanted to achieve. I, I went there in, in October also with a friend just to have a look at the, those places. And in reality, like I just realized that those things weren't the things that I wanted and even having them wouldn't somehow majestically contribute to my happiness. Just like those things were just things in themselves and just like trying to like take pictures in a, in a villa in LA and just thinking that that's gonna somehow influence the life that you live and the way all the, the type of a person do who you are is just like the wrong mindset. 
I guess like I haven't changed the person at all. It just like kind of gave me more context about like the the point plus less about this of certain pursuits that you're making. Uh, after that experience, the only thing that I pursued was actually the type of identity of a person who I am. And that, one, that was one of the reasons why I just made a decision like, okay, I was failing in school. I had a GPA of like 2.6 out of two po out of like 4.0, which was really bad. I mean, not that. I had like 2.38 on the German scale. Like the best one you can have there is, is one and the worst one is five. So, I mean, like I didn't really have good rates either way. And I just like made a freaking decision that I would just go all out. And yeah, now pretty much finished with almost straight A's. Maybe straight A's. Like there's one subject that I'm kind of trying to conquer uh, that required a lot of previous knowledge. And I'm going to probably get back to that once I'm finished with recording all of these videos, but just wanted to finish them um, because that, that's the first point here. But like just really trying to be very open with you and, and just really trying to reflect on all of the things that I've done in the past. It just like doesn't make that much of a difference. Like whether you're living, like now I feel more satisfied i can like perhaps even i might be more i'm, I'm not sure I, like from my point of view like just being in those places seeing how you drive there seeing the type of neighborhood you are in from a certain st standpoint I, I just don't really feel that the place where i'm currently living at like this is my condo it, it's a studio apartment so i guess like not that big i'm living in a very nice neighborhood uh the, I guess the most na na most modern neighborhood you have in Vienna. It's very safe here. I have the best, like, not restaurants, I guess, like, best shops that I... You can find places like this in LA. Like, I mean, you can buy so much different kind of protein stuff that's so freaking good. So much fresh, fresh stuff, fresh sandwiches, everything on such a high quality. The food quality, I have a gym here right, right in the same, same place where I'm living, so I don't mean to travel to the gym. I, I just, like, do it... Like there is no time in credit for me. I can just fully focus on the stuff that I'm working on. And right next to me is campus with super smart people from a certain standpoint. I guess like it's not Ivy League school. It could be perhaps, it's one of the better schools in, in Europe in itself, which is great. It's like one of the top business schools that we have here is like recently I've been accepted to the, to master's degree and the master's degree is ranked 10th ranked in the world. I'm not saying this to brag, brag but it's just like, um, maybe from a certain standpoint, just really trying to imagine or even just really rethink of what I actually am, am doing and why I'm actually doing that. But I'll, I'll be thinking about that or just expressing my thoughts in the next few videos. But just really boiling it down to decisiveness and what decisiveness it means is just like really thinking through all of the cases of what you're actually working on and then being okay with the costs that are incurred and that other people might be achieving more success in the short term than you are because you're pursuing different opportunities than they are. Like this year, like there have been many instances of actually me being kicked in the kicked in the nuts a few times. At least, like I really felt like that. It was just a really, really big shot for me in terms of my ego because, like, just looking back at the certain people that I spent my time with when I was 16, 17, 18, like, and and just like so so many of those people, or maybe even the people who I met a few months ago, it's just like. A lot of them have the different kind of decisions. For example, they didn't really pursue academics or anything else. And they have just achieved so much success in terms of financial terms, just that getting busting through certain thresholds that I haven't been yet able to bust through. For example, they went a scale their businesses past six figures, seven figures, and not just one person, but like multiple of them. And it's just like every single one of those times it happened just like kicked, kicked, kicked me in the nuts. It was like, okay, great. I just made the decision and I'm okay, it's, it's great, like, I have good grades and I'm just surrounded by great network, but at the same time, like, just I'm failing compared to other person in one, one area of my life that I'm really trying to get better at. And it, it, it's essentially, like, boss for a few days, I was just, like, kicked in the nuts and I was just, like, standing there and, and just looking at, staring in the mirror at myself and just trying to think of ways why I, I'm, I'm still great and why this, like, still makes sense. And I just, okay, what are the better ways of how I actually tr can try to tackle these opportunities that I have before me on my desk and how I actually can get past through this and just make something happen for me as well. But this kind of 
ties in back to actually this decisiveness of, of being okay with the short-term costs that you're incurring uh, for the long-term future that you're creating for yourself. In terms of my academics and just being decided on academics, I'm just like gonna let you know about a few things perhaps in the next few videos, because again, like just like academics, I'm just like, even now in the, in the decision-making process of whether I'm actually gonna take and, and prefer to pursue the master's degree in marketing at my university, or whether I'm actually gonna go full out into all of those business activities that I was dabbling with in the last two or three years. It's just like, okay, it's great. Um, we've been able to, like my my top month that we did, we, we did like over oh, five figures in, in pure profit and like with that being said, it's just like I, I just like always had a certain threshold, but then I had to scale down everything back because like the moment I just scaled one thing back up, like all these other things started falling short. And I was just like completely failing at them. It was like great, you scale one thing and all the others are just like in shambles. I was essentially like spending so much freaking time on, on so many different projects I was spending, like I was working on, I was working all the time, pretty much that, that's my life the last year or so. Uh, I'm gonna back, get back to work ethic and what it even means because this year I really <laughs> boiled it down to the absolute truth, which, which implies that I'm able to work much harder than I thought I would be able to work hard. Or I just like moved my limits to way, way higher level. But just, Oh, sorry. Uh, but just really, really being like kind of decisive about the, the path that you, you decide to follow and then just, just sticking to that process regardless of what's actually happening and just really keeping an eye on, on, on the previous video that I recorded. Like essentially, if, if something is worth doing at all, then it's worth doing right. And then it's worth doing well, then it's worth doing great and doing it the best that you possibly can because that's the new task standard for you. That has that's what ha happened in the last two months. I, I'm doing better at, at in my university than I've ever been doing before, and this directly translates to my ability to, to actually trust myself to do other stuff great as well. It's just like I, I see so much freaking progress that I made as a person, and most importantly as a, as an identity of of the confidence that I like. I'm actually able to look. <laughs> This is like, might sound weird, but I just like, don't really care what other people think of me. I just like really think about the person who I want to become. And when I just look into the mirror, I know what I left and everything that I had, all the energy on the court, so to say, what I, or whether I just, just screw this up because I didn't really have the, had the grace to actually power through all of the moments uh, and the, the, like the moments where I should have left everything that I had on the court, but I didn't do that because I was just too afraid or there might be other things that I didn't really follow. So decisiveness, making fast decisions, sticking to them, I guess like this is the groundwork for, for everything, just like really being decisive about the things that you want to be doing. And, but this, I mean, it's, I guess like it's, if you want to get the most out of these videos, you should probably watch all of them because just watching one video might not get, give you enough sufficient context to you of actually what I was thinking about. And that's even that's even the thing that where, where I actually got screwed a lot of, in the past that I just watched a video where the person was saying that, okay, university is not good for you, like like whatever, and, and which ended up screwing me a lot and kicking me in the ass, biting me in the ass from long term because I just wasn't really thinking about this that, that much. So just take everything with a grain, grain of the salt, grain grain of salt I guess that's the way how you say that and I'm gonna be speaking about other stuff or other things in the, in the next few few videos so catch me in the next one